Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Boys will be boys, you get into fights. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I sat on some glasses one time. Yeah. Um, John yeah. Crump says he has, um, he says he's got huge news on the AA-12. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, they're, they're, uh. ATF is some reason or another has flipped on the desi- their thing and going after them, say they're a machine gun. What? So, yeah, I don't know what the, I saw something about the way they were marked, but that doesn't make a lot of sense. But I, I don't know the details, so okay. I'm not gonna. Yeah, there was there was some yeah, stuff that was gun show not too long ago. I went to. Okay, it looks went... like he's sending me a um, an ATF letter about it. Yeah. Let me see. I'd have to try to read through this here. Yeah, I don't know how much. I don't really, like I said, I don't really know the details. I yeah. Just... So, John, I'm assuming I could read this text. I'm assuming that. So, if I can't, uh, let me know. But I'm going to, uh, let's see, I'll try to throw this up here for people. And uh, we can read a little bit of what this says here. I'll throw it up. A statement about the ATF's letters to seize the semi auto AA 12s. Uh, the various letters in question have been sent. Since at least April of 2019, we have a record of ATF notifying owners and collecting them since that time. These AA-12s were not manufactured by Sol Invictus Arms. To date, Sol Invictus Arms has not produced a single AA-12 for civilian sale precisely because of the ongoing ATF investigation. Mm. Uh, so, And then there's like a whole backstory thing here um, about it. Okay, so that's that's interesting. Maybe we need to get John... Uh, to come on at some point, he's probably working on on the story for this. So, uh, uh, oh shoot, yeah. So it's gonna make it more expensive. Yeah. So explain that a little bit if you can, Walter, with the AA12 deal. What's, what's well, I mean, I'm just hearing what somebody put up there about the side plate being the same as a full auto version. So okay. hence easily convertible. So I, I oh. don't know the details about that. Yeah. Okay, so it's not that it is a machine gun, but it's easy. It's too easily convertible, maybe, to the ATF. Maybe. I mean, typically when you build a semi gun, a full auto gun in the semi, mm -hmm. you have to do something to prevent it from being converted back to full mm -hmm. auto, like put a denial block in there or change some of the mm -hmm. internal parts, like on the Zenith MP5s and stuff. Mm -hmm. They've got multiple multiple things that aren't like a normal MP5. Um, mm -hmm. So it's not easily convertible. Um, maybe that's what it's about. Yeah, I so. see a bunch of different comments coming in here right now. Oh, it says A12 was produced without without an FFL. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know the details, so I'm not gonna. You know, yeah. Okay. Stick my stick my chops out too far. Yeah, I think John's probably working. Uh, John, if you're working on an article, I don't know if you have an article up yet. If you do, let me know. If you're working on it, let us know that too, and we'll get into it. I don't know how much you know about these uh, AA12s, Hootie Who. I uh, just seen videos of them and held yeah, one. Yeah, I mean, yeah. everybody. Yeah. Everybody Actually, was kind of Jones. Everybody was kind of Jonesing for one. Yeah, so let me see if I can get John. Let me see if I can get John on. Sorry, hold on a second here. Maybe I can get him to come in right now. He could explain. I know AA twelves are badass guns. <laughs> That's what I know. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Let me see. I'll try to. I'll try to see if we can add him in right now, and then maybe we'll get him to come on. So uh, I am adding you on Skype, John. If you can, if you can hear me. Um, so he's saying that they produced under was produced under someone else's FFL. So. Oh. Um, hey, yeah. hey, hey. Uh, what's up, John? Hold on one second here. I'll get you in. All right. Um, and then let's see. Boom. Okay, there we go. We got you in. So what's going on, man? So it's kind of complicated to explain, but apparently, well, well that's my son there. Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> apparently, uh, the people that produce the the uh, AA-12 were producing it under someone else's FFL. So there's okay. a criminal investigation into that because you're not allowed to do that. Right, okay. Then at all. So mm -hmm. uh, so the guy, it's all in that letter. The guy was... So they were manufacturing it at a separate place from someone else's manufacturing F uh, FFL. Yeah, well, the mm -hmm. guy who was manufacturing it was told by this other guy that 
it was okay to do that. So, I, so the guy was like, hey, can you manufacture this for me? And he's like, you don't need an FFL to do it. You can just... <laughs> okay, that sounds crazy. And then also... Uh, they were all marked machine guns, and they just took the the fully automatic ones, and then they went ahead and converted them to semi-automatic without really changing anything. I mean, they changed like the firing group and everything, wow. but, the, but the serialized part was never changed at all. It was exact. Hmm. So once a machine gun, always a machine gun. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Wow. So there's a criminal case going on. Okay. Which no one really knew about until uh, I found out about it today. Okay. So has anyone been arrested for this? That's what I'm trying to track down now. I know there's charges pending on a uh, on a guy. Mm -hmm. His name's listed in there, so I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure that he has been arrested. If not, uh, I I can't imagine him not being arrested because. They're charging them with multiple felonies. Okay. And whose FFL were they using? Uh, it's in the letter. I cannot recall the exact uh, okay. the guy's exact name. Mm -hmm. okay. But, yeah, it, 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 it's, a, it's a crazy story. It's about okay. Uh, okay, so they owned it. They didn't own the design. And it's, it's crazy. Yeah, go ahead, Walt. No, so basically it's all... It's legitimate. It's not something like some big bad ATF story. Yeah. No, it, it's <laughs> it's not like the bad ATF ATF story. It's uh, somebody broke the law. What what they thought they were doing, but they yeah, right. didn't think they were, but they weren't doing stuff legally. Right. Okay. So the motor voter says, "Why are they confiscating them if the buyers had nothing to do with it? Because they are." Machine? Illegal, huh? Yes, they're... <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> ATF does go bought... around and take stuff that's not supposed to be out there. Just FYI. And just because you bought it thinking it was legal and it isn't, doesn't mm -hmm. make it legal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, once something designated a machine gun, it, it's always a machine gun. It's always a machine gun, right. Yeah. The only way you can... If it was deep... Okay. There are ways around that, kind of technically, but that's, on a, that's when a gun has been demilled, cut up. Mm -hmm. You remove any of the stuff that makes it full auto before you change the receiver before you weld it back together then and get around that but it's you got to be careful with that too so. yeah yeah so what um so what which aa12s are affected by this <laughs> oh every looks like all of them every single oh. every single aa12 out there right now is affected by this mm. apparently i know that they're going to start producing them again because uh the company that everyone blamed for that was selling them, mm -hmm. they're going to stick in their own, but they are waiting until this all gets worked out before they do it. Okay. Um, yeah, so that was, there's a, I think there was a new, there's a, a company here in Florida or something like that that, that, yeah. was, that was waiting for this. I'm trying to remember that. I think we went to see them, Walter, when we were at SHOT Show. I just can't remember the name right now. Yeah. Um, and it probably was in that statement just now. Um, it is. When, so they're, they're, they're waiting until this. Oh, August Sol Invictus, time. right? Sol Invictus is the company yeah. that's going to put these out once all of this gets settled. Yeah. Okay. But they're getting a lot of blame now, and it's really none of their blame. Okay. <laughs> right. So it's not their fault. So any um, any of these AA 12s that are in civilian hands, because what if someone's like a manufacturer or whatever it is, or if they have machine gun paperwork for it, fine or not fine? Because it's not classified as under the right thing. I don't think it's fine. I, I think okay. I think people are gonna have to turn it in too. Okay, so yeah, Walt, you were, you it looks like you were shaking your head there, right? Nothing's fine because Man. it's not classified properly, right? ATF ain't gonna go for that. Well, it's not classified <laughs> properly, and it was reduced under someone else's FFL. Right. It was made under shady circumstances. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like I like I can't make something under Walt's FFL and make it in Virginia mm -hmm. and then ship it out because. No, that's not yeah. how it works. Yeah, no. right. So, oh my goodness, and you have you have to be a manufacturer, and right. then it can be it has to be marked properly. There's a lot of stuff. It can be done, but hmm. not the way they did it. Yeah. yeah. No. So, do we know how many guns are affected by this? Like, what's the number of guns out there that's affected? 
I've been trying to get that, but the original company shut down, so it's kind of hard to get that, and the ATF is not really giving up answers. Wow, okay. So whatever records they have, they're going around um, getting in touch with people and saying, you need to turn this over. What is it? They have to turn it in? They can destroy it? What's the options no, usually? You have, you have to turn it in. Okay. It's a machine gun, so it's a it's okay. cost out of a machine gun, so it's just not like, oh, you can cut through it or something like that. You actually have to turn it in. Okay. And what about someone who, like, you know, someone out there who maybe is hearing this news and they have one of these guns, what should they do? Just sit around, wait for the call from the ATF or? What? They should have got a letter already. Mm -hmm. um, if they haven't, uh, you know, the safe thing to do would be to contact the ATF. But, mm -hmm. you know, you can always play, hey, I didn't know. Yeah, you know, like, the old uh, boating sure. accident trick. Because John John Voorhees says, um, uh, "Do people who already own them have to turn them in?" That's the question he's asking. Yes. 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 Yeah. You you can't play the you can't play the boating thing because eventually, if they find out you lied, mm -hmm. you're gonna go to jail. Yeah. Yeah, and this isn't like uh, like country club jail. This is pounding me in the ass jail. Yeah. Yeah. This is. This is federal stuff. This yeah. is not. This is not the county pokey. You know. No, yeah. this isn't stuff you want to play around with. Yeah. So for the, all the people out there, I know there's jokes. I see people making the whole the the boating accident jokes right now. Yeah. Um, not a good idea in this case, right? Because the ATF is probably going to follow up with visits and stuff like that, right? I would imagine if you didn't turn it in, they're going to follow what visits. Um, yeah. Now, remember, some of these obviously could have changed hands and all that, but that has nothing to do with anything, right? Yeah, they're going to they're gonna track these down hardcore. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, anyone, Hootie Hoo, do you have any questions about this? I, I, I think you probably have not, like, messed around with the AA-12s at all. Uh, I've, I've seen them at gun shows mm -hmm. for more money than I can afford. But. Right, yeah. Do you know what kind of numbers AA-12s have been going for um, up to this point? Obviously, no one can sell them anymore. Uh, last one I saw in a gun show was a semi-auto, and they wanted five grand for it. Wow. Yeah, they've, they've been going between like three and six. Yeah. For anyone who doesn't know, you've probably seen... Um, I could tell you right now when I Google it. Here, let me see if I could pull this up for people so I can show you guys. When I Google it, um, actually, FPS Russia comes up. Because <laughs> yeah. he probably has the biggest video... Um, on it and he, even he's under the Wikipedia thing if you if you go to Wikipedia on it um, I see let me see let's go in here and see what Wikipedia says about it just to give people an idea of what it looks like uh, I don't know if that's a good picture of it but yes it, it, it is an ugly ugly gun but um, do you though. think this pushes the legend forward of these things any or <laughs> The you know, what do you think? They're old. The, end the, the funny part I find I find so amazing about their they're from like John. the 70s, you know, and and they kind of oh, came wait, out we back then, John? and they you know, and then they kind of went away, and then they came back again, and the Marines were supposed yeah. to be testing. So I mean, we missed stuff. the first part of that, Walt. Sorry, go start that oh, again. Uh -huh. I mean, it's it's 70s technology, right? Okay. I mean, you know, maybe even earlier than that. Yeah. And, you know, it, it was kind of reborn again, and then once yeah. again, FPS Russia and all these other people yeah. shooting them, and it's like. You know, yeah. Whatever. Um, Terry Crews, CB is reminding me, which I was talking about this the other day. Uh, Terry Crews has one in the Expendables. So if you've <laughs> ever seen the Expendables movie, there's a scene where Sylvester Stallone's getting his butt kicked, and Terry Crews comes in there with this shotgun that just starts eviscerating people. That's basically an AA-12 that he has there. So um, yeah, interesting. All right, John. Thanks for like uh, yeah. bringing that to us, man. Uh, so you you got you've got an article coming out on this. Uh, I don't have an article. Um, we're gonna run the letter, and I'm gonna take it from there. But um, we okay. just wanted to get the letter out, and the letter should be dropping at any time now. So yeah. I guess you guys are the, probably the first to be breaking it. All right, cool. So yeah, anyone who's looking for this, get um, up on uh, get up on Ammo Land. That's where you'll see this article when uh, when John posts it. You say you're going to be posting it soon, right? Well, uh, my editor might be posting the letter. He just he sent me a text right before I talked to you to make sure that uh, we are cool with printing it. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not under any like off the record thing. And then I went back and got permission. Okay. Uh, 
to actually promote it. So Yeah, to actually talk about it. So check up on Ammo Land. It's going to be up there soon if you want to read through the whole letter. Uh, I'm sure folks out there will be talking about it. And I could see um, FPS Russia's video going from... Uh, from whatever it is now, like 20 million to 100 million. It doesn't Probably. matter at this point. I'm sure he's been demonetized, so it doesn't make any difference. Yeah, I'm telling you. Absolutely. Yeah, well, he, he's actually been charged with the, like uh, drug-related crimes. Yeah, he yeah. um he just recently pled guilty and all that kind of stuff to that. So um, yeah. I think he got like some, uh, he got a period of time, like probation um, yeah. for that issue. So he's at least resolved it and all of that, and he could move forward. So, yeah. All right. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. I know, problem. I just wanted right. to give you guys a chance to break it. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Cool. Yeah. So that's that's good. You know, Excellent. That's good yeah. stuff. You know. So Hootie Who, now you're thinking, I, I could tell you right now, Hootie Who's thinking, man, I should have I should have gotten that five. I should have traded my truck for, for an A12. Bro. You got a bunch of Titan loans. 